In this episode, we'll be talking about how can you customize your Docker file to install PHP extensions, libraries, or even customize your php.init file. Now, to get started, let's go ahead to our to-do list and install the fmpeg uh, library and also the MySQL client binary. Because right now, if I try, for example, to check if the FFM mpeg library is installed i'm going to get an error in my php code because basically this binary is not yet available and same goes for the mysql library if i run mysql uh, dash dash version i'm going to get as well that this binary is not installed now, something to keep in mind is that Vapor Docker images are based on Alpine Linux, meaning that if I want to install a package or even run a simple command on my Docker file, I first need to see how can I do it on Alpine Linux, and I can see that to add a package, I need to run the apk command. So let's add over into our Docker file and first type run apk dash dash update and then I'm going to have both ffmpeg library and also the MySQL client. Once we have done this, we can add over to our terminal and deploy our application so the new changes in our Docker file are replicated in our environment. Once our deployment is completed, we can now type the code to check if our libraries are installed. And sure enough, I can see that the ffmpeg library is now available. And this is the same thing for the MySQL library. If I now type MySQL dash dash version, I will see that the MySQL client library is now also equal available. Now, how about install PHP extensions in our Docker based environment? I have actually created um, this route that simply tell us if an extension is actually installed in our environment. And I can see that by this route that the GMP extension is not loaded. So let's install the GMP extension in our uh, Docker based environment. And that can be done simply by typing once again the instruction run and then you use this command with the name docker php extension install. And once you type this command, you just need to provide the list of extensions you want to install. In this case, I want to install the GMP extension. So let's type that and issue again another, another deployment. During the deployment, when Vapor was building our Docker image, we actually faced this error on the terminal, which happened when we were trying to compile the GMP extension from source. So basically is telling us that in order to install this PHP extension, we are going to actually need the library GMP as well. This is not common to happen. Normally, you just really need this line in order to install PHP extensions. Yet, when using GMP, you also need the library itself. So let's type here GMP dash dev in order to install the library that is going to allow us to compile the GMP extension from source. So let's clean our terminal and type once again vapor deploy so we can replicate our changes in our vapor environment. Our deployment is now completed. So if I go to our browser once again and just refresh this page, I can see that the GMP extension is now installed and also loaded. Now, to complete this episode, let's also try to customize the php.init file. And for that, I have created this endpoint uh, php-ini, which we can check one of the configurations of our vapor of our php.init file. 
Now I can see that my max input vars have the value 1000. So let's try to co customize this value here. I'm going to get back into my uh, sublime text. Then I'm going to create the file at the root of my project with the name php.ini. And now in this file, I'm going to basically place all the overrides I want to do in the vapor environment uh, php.ini file. So in this case, I'm going to type max input vars and the value will be 2000. Once I have done this, the next step I need to do is basically add over to our uh, Docker file and ensure I actually copy the file I just have created into our vapor Docker based deployment on this directory usr local etc php conf.d and I'm going to create this file overrides.ini which will contain the contents of my local php.ini file. Meaning that if I now clear my terminal and I issue a new deployment, I normally will see this value right here turning into 2000. And now that our deployment is completed, we can add over to our browser, perform a refresh, and sure enough, the PHP configuration option max input vars is now with the value 2000. And we just have saw in this episode how easy it is to customize Docker-based environments on Vapor. We have installed libraries, installed extensions, and also customized the php.ini file. And that's it about customizing Docker files on Vapor.